Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some defensive plays for you today. I haven't put out a blitz in a while. Uh, the game is constantly evolving. Uh, the last blitz I put out, I'm pretty sure that they patched. It was it was uh, the fire three, the fire zone three. Um, I have not been using it as much because I started noticing uh, it wasn't becoming as effective as it originally was. Um, so let me know in the comment section if you're still using that and it's still working. Because like I said, I just kind of got away from it. I started using a lot more base packages out of the nickel, like the nickel normal. Um, and I, I found a really nice blitz concept out of the double A gap, the nickel double A gap. This right here is a pretty familiar concept. I'm just kind of borrowing it from one of the more um, successful blitzes, blitzing plays, which is the mid blitz. Now, the mid blitz has a serious uh, flaw, which is basically everything beats man. I mean, if the blitz doesn't get there, you're screwed. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow uh, that concept and apply it to a different type of play where I essentially get uh, a much better coverage uh, with some adjustments. So basically the play that I'm going to pick today to start this off is the cover two right at the top there, which essentially is a Tampa two uh, from the looks of it. But either way, we're going to go, we're going to pick that. On offense, we're going to go with um, just something randomly, I guess it's random going to work. Although typically, these type of mid blitzes are much more effective when somebody's under center. So if it's like a single back three wide, um, that would probably be the best way, best time to use it. All right, so this is the look here. Now, the mid blitz, like I was talking about, that's probably in your audibles, no matter what playbook you use. I'm using the Bengals playbook, uh, which is the playbook I've been using all year. Uh, if you guys don't know, full breakdown in the description, ebook in the description, if you guys want to check that out. Either way, this is in a lot of different playbooks. I'm pretty sure this is also in the... Uh, at least the uh, Baltimore Ravens playbook, which is pretty similar, should be in there, which is also very popular. Uh, but the mid blitz, if you can take a look at it here, uh, has some serious flaws to it, which is basically you have no safety help, all man coverages. Uh, pretty much every route in this game beats man coverage. So this is a really good play, but if the blitz doesn't get there, you're screwed. So basically, the reason I started working with um, this different type of concept here is obviously zone is much better. Um, but you get the same result and I can basically do it without losing any coverage So all I'm really gonna do is hit the R1 button or the right bumper if you're on Xbox and then blitz all and then this is This is not the full look, but this is essentially the same look you have before um, But now you still have some zones, which is a much better and much harder to stop uh, setup now how I want to complete this so that I have a little bit more coverage in the center there because you can see there's still a little bit missing is I like to put this guy here, this defensive end who I'm going to use her into a bluff blitz and now that's going to allow me to drop back into coverage, cover the middle zone. Um, obviously the three wide receivers covered pretty good by the slot corner and the cloud flat and obviously the over the top. Uh, but this right here, you're going to see how basically me having him in a bluff blitz instead of just standing him straight up. If I stand him straight up into a vertical hook, I don't think it has the same effect. Uh, but the bluff blitz holds that guy in front of me long enough that uh, basically the opposite uh, end, I think I'm the left end, I may, I'm not even sure, but the, the opposite defensive end or sometimes even the middle linebacker will come shooting in um, and almost give it like a uh, like an A-gap look. So I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'll run it like this one time. Go ahead and let him run this. I also like to motion this guy back and forth because I, I don't want to get suctioned into the block. I didn't mention that. But um, I don't want to get pulled in. So basically, me motioning, I feel, will let me to drop back into coverage a little bit better. So, and you also have your choices for, uh, since this is going to be a good, I think this is going to get in pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and go underneath because hard flats are better when you're blitzing. So I'm going to go ahead and run this now. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the tight end. Of course, he does dump it underneath and I don't get a good tackle, but, oh, look at that. Well, come on, man. But like I said, you saw the blitz came in. We'll go ahead and we'll go into the uh, replay because I did see the guy come in and force the throw. Uh, but this is basically a look. Look at this guy comes in free. A 90. Who is that? Is that defensive tackle? Somebody's going to come in free every time. That's basically the point. Who is this guy? Yeah, some guy I never heard of. I should probably change up my personnel a little bit um, just to make sure that I actually have some speed because that's a little bit more important. But by the way, I mean, I mean, not by the way, but the point is 77 here, double team. 77 and 68 double team somebody and they let somebody in free. That's the point. Five guys are coming in against five blockers. Uh, but one of them always ends up on a double team and you typically get a free runner, which is the uh, which is what it's all about So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make some personnel changes and we'll keep running this 
So really easy setup, which is one of the better things about this. Somebody's running a hurry up. You can all you, all you have to do is zone all, and then uh, you know bluff blitz this guy. Even if you don't bluff blitz him, it should work. You just have to stand him back. And there we actually get a pretty good run stopping formation too, as you can tell. I'm also gonna guess pass every once in a while, though this is a goal line, so that was probably a mistake. But I'm gonna live with it anyway. And we didn't get plowed. Like I said, it's a goal line offense. You only got a couple yards. It's not a bad run stopping formation. You know, I, I probably should have kept running this against Gun or something, but... Look at that. Still not getting a lot of yards. Still a good run D. So, here you can see how the cornerback's on the other side. That's not ideal, but... You know, you can basically base a line, send it back over. It's not a bad thing considering there's three wide receivers on this side, but I'll try to handle them myself. You can see there, look at that, instant heat. That's what I'm talking about, right there. And that was Billings. That was the guy that I substituted, so... Like I said, sometimes it's the linebacker that gets in. That was not... I'm going to drop back. There was some pretty decent coverage. He still gets a couple yards, though. I'm not sure if somebody was coming in or not. Let's take a look at the replay here. Yeah, look, the guy Look, the guy comes in free, but the running back, I guess, gets a piece of him, and then he gets caught up on the tackle. Um, so maybe I didn't do a good enough job holding my guy down. You see, I kind of drop back. I, typically, I want this guy to be in closer to the right tackle, and that's probably my fault because I just let him go. So that's why the blitz didn't work. You see, I typically bring this um, my, my user defensive end in towards the, uh, towards the right tackle so that doesn't happen. So let's, let's try to make sure we don't do that on the next play. So like, like, like I said here, you typically want to bring this guy in here to make this work. So I'm going to I'm gonna make sure I occupy 77 and pass him off even though it was a run. Didn't get anything though. Like I said, still pretty good run D. Like I said, let's see what the effect is that we have here. Like I said, I got to bring this guy in. Bring him in. I just want to be a step outside. I don't want to be right lined up over him. I want to be a step to his shoulder. So he recognizes me and then he takes off and gets the other guy. Look at that. Bam. Right in there. No coverage. Oh, they're right there. Look at that. They're coming right up the pipe. He's taking off. He's going to run. <laughs> He's going to run. I'll take that. I mean, you could get nine times out of ten. You can make that dude lose the ball. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next play. It's not really going to be a different play. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I would set it up if you wanted to run this out of like a cover three. Uh, because obviously you want to mix it in every once in a while. Uh, you could do it. You could do it out of cover three. I just don't find it as successful as the first play. I typically lead off with the best version. Um, you could do it out of the cover one hole. Uh, once again, this is a man coverage though, so it's really no difference than the mid blitz at that point. Now, the, the definitely the best way to do this in cover three would be the cover three show too, because obviously it's going to look just like um, your previous your previous setup. So uh, you're mixing it in. You want to you want to keep your opponent off guard because eventually good opponents are going to figure out he's running cover two all game and everybody has a cover two beater in their pocket. So if you want to run the cover three show two to mix in there, it's a pretty good play. We'll keep doing the uh, single back. Yeah, my only real concern with this version is I have quite a bit to do by myself. Now, I have a couple different options. I could do this and stand up with the defensive end, or I could basically just come down here with a loca and be kind of like a, a middle linebacker slash deep third guy. Um, that's one way to go. But you can see how this guy won't stay in unless I stay in. So the blitz does, also doesn't work quite as good. Um, but it's really up to you. So, you, I mean, you do have some coverage options too, by the way. I mean, if there's a guy lined up in front of the purple zones, they will handle those purple. They will handle those uh, if they're coming straight. Um, hopefully, I'll get some looks like that here in a minute. But let's go and let's run this one time. Go ahead and guess pass. Hopefully, it is a pass. It hasn't been. They've been doing a lot of running. So here, out in the flats. I mean, if that was a cover two, that probably been covered much better. Uh, so like I said, the cover three. If you're into cover three, this is the setup. But for my money, the, the cover two is much is a much better product, I should say. You get much better results. So here, I mean, I was in, I was in cover. <laughs> I actually covered them both somehow there. So we're going to run this once or twice more. I'd like to get some heat. I'm guessing there was a guy coming in there. That's why the quarterback rolled out. And you can see they're going to take that check down. I'm willing to bet that was another pressure. So we're going to have to go to the instant replay real quick just to see... I mean, it should be working the same way. Why wouldn't it be, right? So here you go once again. Coming in free. Like I said, you want speed there. That guy comes in pretty much every time. So you definitely want speed there. So I think I did this quite enough. You see how the, the blitz works. Um, if your quarterback is rolling out too, by the way, I didn't mention you could always um, put him on a QB contain and that, and that should help 
those rollouts like the computer was doing me quite a bit but that's really not that necessary considering how the blitz works so uh so really good a gap um if you guys want to see more stuff like this do me a favor hit the like button i'll do that more bangles defensive plays more defensive plays blitzes as a whole or if you want to see the full breakdown of the Bengals playbook check it out link in the description below other than that thanks for watching man money shit out